in this video I want to prove these two standard limit problems limit when x approaches 0 of natural log of 1 plus x over x is equal to 1 and the limit when x approaches 0 of a to the power x minus 1 over x is equal to natural log of a when a has to be greater than 0. Now using these two we want to prove that if f of x is a to the power x f dash x is a to the power x times natural log of natural log of a by first principle. Okay, so let's get started. So we have got the limit when x approaches 0 of natural log of 1 plus x over x is what we want to prove or show is equal to 1. We start with the substitution. Let natural log of 1 plus x is equal to say z. Now natural log has a base of e, so writing this in the exponential form, I can say 1 plus x is equal to e to the power z. I'm making x the subject, we can say x is equal to e to the power z minus 1. Now I need this because I see in the denominator x sitting here. Also the limit will change now because we have done a substitution. When x is approaching 0, when x is approaching 0, let's look in the substitution. When x is approaching 0, natural log of, this will become natural log of 1, almost 1. And natural log of 1 is 0, and that is your z. So also when x is approaching 0, your z would be approaching 0. Okay, so now this, this whole thing has changed into uh, z form. So this you can say the limit when z approaches 0 of z over uh, e to the power z minus 1. Okay, now the next step is very crucial. This implies the limit when z approaches 0 of 1 over e to the power z minus 1 over z. So here basically what I have done is multiplying by z is same as or having z in the numerator is, have, is same as putting z as a denominator's denominator. So I hope you know so 1 over 1 half is same as 2. 2 is same as 1 divided by half. Okay, or you can say 2 is 1 divided by half. So this z, what I've done is, which is sitting in the numerator, has become the denominator's denominator. Okay, now this is a limit problem. So this I can say, this is equal to 1 over the limit, the limit, the limit z approaches 0 of e to the power z minus 1 over z. Now this, I made a separate video on this, where this is 1. So this is equal to 1 over 1, which is 1. Okay, just to give an, ex uh, under an informal explanation, the limit, let me use a different color. Uh, let me use a different color. Let me use green. This is a very important limit problem. The limit when x approaches 0 of e to the power x minus 1 over x is equal to 1. So if you put, you can substitute some values of x approaching 0 from the right and left, and then you will find that will be approaching 1. So let me show this on the calculator. So if you go, let me put this in a bracket. Let's approach 0 from the right. So this is e to the power 0 0.1 minus 1 divided by 0 0.1. That's 1.05. So let's make it still smaller. Let me put three zeros. So this is approaching 0 from the right, from the positive direction. 
this is 1.00 so this is approaching I don't know why it, yeah I, I maybe I have clicked twice so this is approaching one now what happens if it is approaching one from the left that is shift E negative 0 0.001 minus 1 divided by negative 0 0.001 I've done something wrong so sh bracket shift E to the power negative 0 0.001 minus 1 divided by negative 0 0.001 this is approaching 1 from the right okay so let me make it still smaller let me put two zeros here and two zeros here this is also a good way of understanding limits this is approaching 1 so both ways from the right and left this is approaching one and that's why this becomes one okay so now let's move on to the next limit problem okay so what are we saying when x is when x is approaching zero the limit when x approaches zero of a to the power x minus one over x is equal to natural log of x okay so what can we do here okay so again we are going to do a substitution so let a to the power x minus 1 is equal to z let a to the power x minus 1 is equal to z so you can see a to the power x is equal to 1 plus z now taking log on both sides natural log of a to the power x is equal to natural log of 1 plus c okay now I'm using the log rule so I can say x times natural log of a is equal to natural log of 1 plus c so x we need x because x is sitting in the denominator so x is equal to natural log of 1 plus c over over natural log of a so this is something that we need for substitution now the limit will also change when x approaches 0 when x is approaching 0 what will happen when x is approaching 0 this is going to be 1 when this is this whole thing is going to be 1 so when x is approaching 0 you can see z would also approach 0 so this implies the limit when z approaches 0 of z over what is x x is natural log of 1 plus z over natural log of a so let me write this so this is the limit when z approaches 0 this natural log will go in the numerator so this is natural log of a times z over natural log of 1 plus c so let me write here so this is the limit when z approaches 0 of natural log of a times 1 over natural log of 1 plus c over z okay so what did we prove now just just now we proved the limit when x is approaching 0 of natural log of 1 plus x over x is equal to 1 so we can apply the limit here so we can say this implies uh, this is equal to or this is equal to not imply sorry so this is equal to so let me write it here so this is equal to natural log of a times 1 over 
I'm applying the limit here. The limit, the limit when, let me write limit properly. The limit when z approaches zero of natural log of one plus z over z. Now this limit when z is approaching zero of one plus z over z is equal to one. So this is equal to natural log of a times one, which is equal to natural log of a. Okay, so now finally, so we have got the limit we got, we have proved two results, so let me uh, recapitulate. So the limit when x approaches zero of natural log of one plus x over x is equal to one, and the limit when x approaches zero of a to the power x minus one over x is equal to natural log of a. So these are the two limits that we prove. So now we're going to use this to prove that the derivative of f of x, if f of x is equal to a to the power x, we want to prove f dash x is a to the power x times natural log of a. Okay, so by first principle. So you can say if f of x is a to the power x, f of x plus h would be a to the power x plus h. In place of x, you can put x plus h. So now you can say by first principle, by first principle, f dash x is equal to the limit when h approaches zero of f of x f of x plus h which is a raised to x plus h minus f of x which is a to the power x over h okay so this i can write as the limit when h approaches zero of a to the power x times a to the power h minus a to the power x over h. So again, so this is the limit when h approaches zero. You can factor out a to the power x. We have a to the power h minus one over h. So now what did we prove just now? We proved the limit when x approaches zero of a to the power x minus one over x is natural log of a. So using that rule, we can say we can apply the limit to this part. So this is same as writing a to the power x times the limit when h approaches zero of a to the power h minus one over h is equal to a to the power x times natural log of a. Now we can use this rule. So you can say this is your f dash x. Okay, so we can use this rule to prove also e to the power x is e to the power x. Okay, so using the same rule, say if f of x is e to the power x, e is a special number, e to the power x, can I write using the same rule, f dash x would be e to the power x times natural log of e. If, if f of x, see, if f of x was a to the power x, f dash x is a to the power x times natural log of a. So using the same rule, this is an exponential function, this is also an exponential function. a is any number which is greater than zero. Here a is greater than zero. A is 2.718. This is a transcendental number. So f dash x using the same rule would be e to the power x times natural log of e. 
and natural log of e is 1. Natural log of e is 1, so we can say f dash x, if f of x is e to the power x, f dash x is e to the power x.